Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with artichoke spinach stuffed shells. I had some leftover spinach artichoke dip from the Super Bowl party, and when we cook with leftovers, we don't care how it comes out. You can't. You have to have no fear. Okay, we're not following a recipe. We're just cooking, which is, you know, way more fun. And speaking of Super Bowl parties, pardon the poor cell phone photo here, but my sister Valerie made these chocolate dip strawberries. It made them look like little footballs. Did you have those at your party? I don't think so. And also, this was filmed at my mom's house, so excuse any odd lighting or backgrounds. All right, so I had a nice amount of leftover spinach artichoke dip, and you're thinking, why so much? Well, we had 10 people and enough food for 27, and I'm not exaggerating. Now, that was kind of hard, kind of firm from being cold in the fridge, so I popped it in the microwave for a minute so I could transfer it into a bowl, and it would be soft enough to mix. And what did I mix it with? Ricotta cheese. And again, we're not worrying about amounts here. I'm just going by feel. So when you cook them with leftovers, one thing you can't care about is how things turn out. All right. I had about three cups of the leftover dip. That's about a cup of cheese. And since the dip's already seasoned well, I just add a little salt and pepper, a little bit of fresh lemon juice just to brighten things up a hair, some hot pepper flakes. Super, super simple. Now getting back to that little cooking with leftovers philosophy I just dropped on you. What I meant by not caring is however it comes out is how it's supposed to be. We're just using up some stuff from the fridge. So you can't get all worked up about it being perfect or being something you've had before. Just see what happens. I'm going to toss an egg in because usually any kind of cheesy shell fillings, lasagna fillings, things like that, you want to put an egg in there to tighten things up a little bit. And that was it. Set aside until needed. I put some water on to boil. For some reason on my mom's electric stove, it dances like that, which is kind of cool. All right, I threw in a box of shells, large jumbo shells. I cooked them one minute under the package directions, rinsed them in cold water, set them aside. In the meantime, while those were cooling, I made one batch of bechamel sauce. That's your simple white sauce. Sometimes has cheese, sometimes doesn't. This time it did. I had a little leftover Gruyere. I'm going to link on the blog to videos where I make that. You don't have to guess. That I will show you how to make. All right, I put about a third of it down on the bottom of the casserole dish, and then I went to stuff in my shells. Now, this shot here is not so much showing you how to stuff the shell as it is me being ridiculously close to the camera. All right, so that's pretty lame. So here we go. This is a little better. So you don't want to overstuff them. You don't want to understuff them. You want to stuff them. So you see that? It's just sort of nicely stuffed. All right, once those are stuffed, we're going to lay those on top of our bechamel sauce, line them up. All right, I normally like to keep the stuffing open side up, but it really doesn't matter. Once my pan was filled, I think I fit 25 in there. Again, cooking with leftovers, I didn't care if I had a little stuffing left over or if I had a few shells left over, which I did. I think I had like four or five shells left that I didn't have enough stuffing for, but that's okay. It's leftovers. Who cares? Top with the rest of the bechamel. I threw some Parmesan cheese on top. I threw them in a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes or so until they were heated through and the top was browned. So simple. And how did it taste? Pretty good. Tasted like spinach artichoke dip and ricotta, which is what it was. Now these would have been way better had I not eaten the spinach artichoke dip because it you know, reminded me of that, which I just had a few days before. But for leftovers, a very nice meal. I don't think I would want an entire plate of those as an entree, but as a side dish to some Italian sausage, it was really good. And that's it. Cooking with leftovers. Don't be afraid. Mix stuff up. See what happens. You may invent a new dish. You may never make it again because it was so horrible, but it doesn't matter. No fear. Just start using your instincts. Anyway, I hope you give that a try if you ever have leftover spinach artichoke dip, or if you have leftover anything. Think to yourself, could I stuff something with this? Possibly. All the ingredients I use, or at least relatively close guesses, because I didn't measure anything, will be on foodwishes.com, so go check it out. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.